those that may not know reverse mentoring, it's, some, it's finding someone more junior than you and having them mentor you. Tough pill to swallow, but it's, it's helpful and it can streamline and it can help us really understand this emerging generation in a bigger way. So three things are gonna happen if you decide to do reverse mentoring. Number one, the next gen are familiar with mentoring up as we saw in that last clip. Number two, insights into next gen candidates or employees, right? If you're, if you're being intentional about understanding who they are and learning about them or having them teach you, you're picking up on some of the nuances of that generation. And then number three, opportunities for next gen to develop communication skills. That's perhaps the silver bullet in this. If you decide to engage on a one-on-one -on -one relationship and reverse mentoring, by default, you're putting on display the interpersonal skills that so many of the emerging generations are missing out on, like the power of a firm handshake, the power of eye contact, body language, etc. So let me give you a couple examples of reverse mentoring, and it doesn't just happen to have to happen one-to-one. -one. Uh, Burberry at Angela R. Rents, who's the previous CEO of Burberry, now I believe she heads up the head of uh, retail at Apple. She created what she called the Strategic Innovation Council, where the next gen met to innovate the company's future. So it was just this emerging generation that met on a quarterly basis, and they just thought way outside the box. And they reported directly to Chris Bailey, who's now the CEO of Burberry. And it's a, it was a, it's a great example of reverse mentoring uh, in a bigger scale. Aetna has a generational employee resource group that enables each generation to learn from other generations. So Aetna is very intentional about getting every generation inside of a room, learning from one another, uh, networking, socializing, learning from each other. So there's lots of reverse mentoring that happens in those settings as well. And finally, Bacardi. Bacardi has a program that's called the Rising Stars, where it develops emerging talent, encourages them to disrupt the company from the inside out. Right? Many organizations have um, development programs, but what makes Bacardi's really different and innovative is that they're actually empowering this next generation to, to rethink everything. They're, they're, they're nudging them, they're asking them, hey, if we hit the reset button and we started our business from scratch tomorrow in the 21st century, what would be different? What do we need to be rethinking? So another good example uh, of indirect reverse mentoring.